Hey, this is Dr. Emily Scherning with AR, and we got your 2050 climate forecast for the southeast. If you're south of Georgia and east of Arkansas, I'm talking to you. There are changes coming to your area for which you will want to be prepared. This is particularly true for any of you who live near the coast. You've noticed that hurricanes are causing more intense wind and water damage. That's going to continue. We all know how bad the rains have been with those, how bad the storm surge has been. That kind of water damage... You know, hard to repair is an understatement. We're going to be dealing with more of that in the years to come. I have to say, it was truly inspiring to see how well those new levees held with Ida. You know, I was there uh, during Katrina, so seeing the growing resilience of this region, it gave me a lot of comfort and hope. From now until 2030, we're going to see a lot of things really start accelerating. So we need that resilience. If you've been thinking about getting off the coast, you think maybe you don't want to deal with all that with the hurricanes. If you got any flexibility, you should make your move now. We're looking at an increasingly realistic forecast of three feet of sea level rise by 2050. Now, you can imagine that's going to impact a lot of cities, a lot of people. Florida, the Carolinas, your coastal cities are going to be particularly hard hit. There is no real way to stop the rise. We have to accept it. and We have to get ready. We got to get ready now. Now, I know it's upsetting what I'm talking about. It's pretty extreme. But the situation for those coastal cities, for Florida in general, it's looking pretty extreme. There's going to be a big changeover in what the land looks like by 2050. The government reports call it a transformational change. There will be different plants, different birds, different animals. A change as extreme as we can expect to see anywhere in the country. And these changes to the landscape, to the habitats, they're going to be most dramatic near the coast. I tell you, thinking of the magnitude of these predicted changes, it's hard to fathom. And this is one of the regions where the government reports admit there's a limit to what we can predict because the changes are so dramatic. Yeah, I moved to New Orleans as a young woman in good part because I love the many beautiful landscapes of the South. You know, I love the rhododendron hollows. I love the smell of the bayou. The thought that all these things are going to change and change in ways that can't be predicted this was the saddest thing I read in all of the government reports as I was getting ready to make these videos. And there were a lot of things in there that made me sad. These changes are going to be worse near the coast. And I want to tell you the truth so that you know what to expect. There are some bright spots in the south. And those are, you know, in the inland areas. The broad agricultural area around McMinnville, Tennessee, that in particular looks to have a pretty protected climate, pretty stable little pocket there. And some of the cities are looking good too. Atlanta, you know, we all know Atlanta is a real powerhouse. And uh, for the region especially, Atlanta has a pretty good forecast. Raleigh, Durham, it, it's going to get hotter. But the whole research triangle, the forecast looks manageable, it, tropical. There are places in the south that can be really fortified against the changes that are coming. They can give you a real foothold to establish some resiliency. I can get you detail on more of those with local forecasts after I get these first 10 up. Now, in these places where you want to dig in and prepare, here's an idea of what's coming by 2050. There's going to be warmer nights. It's going to get harder to cool off during the day. There's going to be uh, intense storms with longer dry periods in between them, like have been causing the terrible flash flooding that we've uh, seen this year in 2021. Because of the droughts and the extreme storms, it's going to be important to handle water. Not just to think about drainage, but think about water storage. What water you get in many areas that are going to be susceptible to this pattern of intense rain and drying, you're going to want to be able to store the water and you're going to want to be able to keep it safe from mosquitoes. There are new species of mosquitoes moving into the region that carry dangerous tropical diseases. So... As you're preparing your community, you want to think about controlling mosquito habitat. You're also going to want to think about cooling. Cooling is important now. It's, it's only going to get more important. You've got potential in this region for humid heat waves, wet heat waves. These could be deadly for healthy people and healthy large animals. Even if you can go in the shade, even if you got some water to drink, these heat waves could be deadly. This is a serious threat for the region. And developing energy independence, energy stability, is going to be crucial for human community health because you need cooling stability. When you're thinking about what to grow, what to plant, 
you should anticipate a shift in this region of at least two agricultural zones by 2050, 2060. That's a big shift. It could be a big change in what you grow. I have seen some projections that suggest we will be able to grow mangoes in Georgia by 2050. Big changes in the tree crops. The South is a place where we need to start planting the trees for tomorrow. There's some tools on my website I want you to check out to help you get a clearer picture of what's going to happen where you live. If you're on the coast, you want to check out the sea level rise tool. If you're a person who cares about trees or orchards, I have a great forestry tool to help you get an idea of what kind of shift we're talking about on your land. There's some good places to dig in in the South. We all know there are tough people in the South. There's resilient places. I want you to have all the information you need to prepare for the serious challenges that are coming. Because you can prepare. This is Dr. Scherning with AR signing out. Please like and subscribe. Help get the message out there. There is hope. We can prepare for what's coming. Let's get ready.